welcome to another video a walk on the wild side and i am here in dallas i am in downtown dallas here and i am filming this video the evening before the big event which is happening tomorrow monday the total eclipse of the sun now you probably already know what happened because you might have seen the video i've done i'm film i'm showing this after the event now i hadn't planned to book into a hotel the night before so i was kind of leaving it until the last minute and to be quite honest i was even thinking of sleeping in my car in a car park somewhere near downtown dallas because that's where i want to be for the eclipse but in the end i decided i'm not too sure if i want to park in my car i just thought you know what i'm not too sure if i'd be comfortable sleeping in my car in a in a parking lot in downtown Dallas. And now I think Dallas is pretty safe, really. I think I probably would be okay, but I decided to stay at a hotel and I didn't think I was gonna find one because the prices were unbelievable. But just check out this hotel behind me. Look at it, it's called the Lorenzo. I think it's by Hilton or someone like that, but look at it, it's, it's funky, isn't it? It's, a, it's something a bit different and this hotel well, it came in at 299 when I went on the site, but then they added tax. So that's took it to $350, $350. I cannot believe I paid that much money, but that's, that's between that and sleeping in the car, you know, it would have been a lot cheaper to sleep in the car. And also I've got to pay for parking on top of that. And that's another thing as well. I want to park. I want to make sure that I'm parked for the eclipse so I can park in this car park tomorrow, even after a check out. I know that I will be not too far away from downtown Dallas for the eclipse because I'm staying at this hotel. And um, yeah, so that'll make it nice and easy for me tomorrow. So I think it's time to uh, go inside and check it out. $350, is it gonna be worth it? Check it out. Have you ever seen a hotel quite like this one? I think it's inspired by Andy Warhol or something. That must be like the garden there. We might see that when I get inside. But just look at this here, isn't it funky? The Lorenzo. Look at that mural they've got there, look. There you go, and they've got these figures around as well. They've got like blue figures, they've got one there. And this is the main entrance here. We'll be going in in just a minute. I just want to show you over here. We've got some containers over here. I don't know what these are for, but uh, they belong to the hotel anyway. Look at that there. It's a little bit different, isn't it, folks? What do you think? These apartments over the back look quite funky as well, don't they? Anyway, I think it's time to go in the Lorenzo hotel and check it out let's see if it's worth that 350 dollars check out this writing here underneath the canopy here before we go in it's like a really poncy art hotel this isn't it really it's part of the tapestry collection by hilton now i don't know how much 350 dollars is in pounds but i pretty sure I have never paid anywhere near that much for a hotel room before so it better be worth it let's check it out shall we Ooh, oh is it yeah okay that's great yeah so I just need to see your ID and the uh, card that you wanted to mail. Um, I paid with um, that card, is that, yeah? Okay, so it looks like it came as prepaid, um, but I still have to put down an incidental hold for this one, okay? Okay. So I just need to check your ID as well. I've already got some, but yeah, I, I, I could have some more, I can always give them away, you know, so. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I recommend keeping that as a souvenir. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah, so we'll do, yeah, yeah. Thanks very much, yeah. Well, the rooms are located in front of us. You can also access them through this hallway over here. That way? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thanks very much. Alright. Okay, I now have my room. So it's on the sixth 
floor. Sir. How are you doing today? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, good. We we're going to be here watching the eclipse. Yeah, we were here for volleyball, but we're going to watch the eclipse too. Did yeah. you come in to watch it? I've, I've come all the way from, from England. Oh, wow, that's yeah. amazing. <laughs> well, cool. I hope you get to enjoy it. Hopefully, you get a break in the clouds. <laughs> Thanks very much. You take care. Bye now. Bye. 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 It's not down there, it's here. I've walked past it, so I've come out of the lift there and I will straight past my room. So let's see if it works. Not the best of starts, the uh, card isn't working on the door, it, uh, it flashes, but then uh, when I try the handle it, uh, it, it doesn't work, so I'm going to have to nip back down to reception and see if they can rectify this uh, problem. Okay, I finally made it into my room, I wasn't pushing the door hard enough, and by the way, you might be wondering why I'm wearing these solar eclipse glasses, I'll take them off. <laughs> they actually give us these glasses here. Look at, look at that there, yeah. They give us these for the solar eclipse tomorrow. Now I've already got solar eclipse glasses, but there's just some more to add to my collection. I might even give away to someone, I don't know. But uh, anyway, we're now in the room at last. Yeah, so I'll just put my proper glasses on. Uh, so this room cost me $350, my goodness. Let's take a look around, shall we? So there's the door, that's where I came in, and that's the stiff door there that I struggled with. And what have we got here? Well, we've got uh, I had a coffee machine just like that at the last hotel, and I struggled with it, but I got it to work in the end. So this is the coffee machine. I think we can have tea. Can we have tea? I'm not too sure. We've got a fridge down here. I don't think there's anything in the fridge. It's empty, I'm afraid. Uh, got some drawers here. I won't be using any of that stuff. So, uh, what's that? That's like a massive mirror, isn't it? Look at this. Hi, hi. Look at that. You've never seen anything like that. I thought it was a door or something. I thought there was something behind it, but let's have a look at the let's have a look at the bed, shall we? Look at the bed. Now that's the coolest bed I have ever seen in a hotel room. Well, certainly that. Uh, Part on the wall at the back anyway. Looks a bit like Warhol, doesn't it? I think it's inspired by Warhol, this hotel. And there's the desk, look at that there. Wow. Everywhere you look, it's like really fancy. Look at the chair! Oh my goodness! They also gave me this cookie as well, check it out. Lorenzo Hotel cookie. I like cookies. Right, okay, so, um, Fancy light above the chair as well. Look at that there. Wow. Let's have a look out the window because I'm pretty high up here. I'm on the sixth floor. Hey, I've not got a bad view, you know. Look at that down there. Look, you can see those containers I was talking about. I think it's like an outdoor eating area. Places to sit for people to eat outside. And this is the canopy I was talking about with the writing underneath. It's got some writing on there. Hick man. Optimus Optima, not really sure what that means, but uh, well, we've got some nice weather this evening. Look at this now, nice blue skies. Will it be like this tomorrow? Well, the forecast is hmm, <laughs> well, you know, I think. Is that the Great Wall of China over there? On that wall there, I'm not too sure. Look at the ceiling, it's like bare concrete. Look at that, wow. That's amazing. And what's that there? Like a an artist paintbrush inside a 
Their friend. This hotel is absolutely wacky, isn't it? Wow. The carpet has also got lots of writing as well, love. Can you read any of that? The bathroom door looks like it's got a porthole, doesn't it? Anyway, let's turn the light on. No, uh, actually, the bathroom doesn't really look all that fancy, does it? Uh, it's got a nice fancy sink. Nice big mirror. The tiles, very well, it's quite plain, but notice how the tiles are on that way. That's a little bit different, isn't it? It's a little bit minimalist, the bathroom, but uh, it's... Uh, nice and clean anyway well you'd expect it for this price wouldn't you right i'm just going to eat this cookie look at that there cookie that they gave me now i'll eat that now now one of the things i wanted to do was i want to park my car here tomorrow i want to leave it at the hotel and i can do that i asked them at reception so that means i can go into downtown tomorrow even after I check out of this hotel, because I'm not staying another night here at that... I'm, I don't even know if it is that much tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a Monday. The price may go down, I'm not too sure. But I can leave my car here tomorrow safely. And then I know I can go into downtown. I can even come back and get some bits for it. But at least I've got the car here and I'm not having to rely on the other car parks. Because that was my biggest worry not being able to park anywhere on the eclipse day because you can imagine all the people coming into town on the eclipse day and using up all the parking spaces so i know i've got a parking space right here nice looking poof here as well look at that there that's quite smart isn't it i do like that lamp though there look the only thing is i can see myself hitting my head on that if i don't watch it check out the table it looks a bit like it's meant to be a tree trunk or something, kind of metallic as well. Ah, just having a drink of coffee by that coffee machine, that's all right though. You know, everything about this hotel is quirky. I mean, even the glasses, look at the glass there, can you see that? It's skewed. What do you think to that? Wow, that's going to be a bit weird drinking out of that. It's going to be like as if you've had a few pints of Stellas, isn't it? Your glass is all wonky. <laughs> um, yeah, so everything about this hotel is really, really quirky, really, really offbeat. So um, that's the room anyway. And uh, yeah, I've never stayed in a hotel quite like this before. And I certainly haven't spent anything like that amount on a hotel room before. But uh, yeah, I hope it's all worth it. Check out these mirrors here. Yeah, they've got three different sized mirrors and they're like those parabolic mirrors that you see outside people's driveways, you know, so they can see who's coming down the road. Here's some info on the hotel, Lorenzo Hotel Tapestry Collection by Hilton. There you go. And these are all the services. Check out 11 a.m., nice late checkout. Wi-Fi is free. Parking is actually $20 overnight, so that adds to my 350. It's $10 for the day tomorrow so that's thirty dollars on top of what i'm paying already uh, breakfast is charged as well i don't know how much that is i might find out tomorrow morning but uh, here's all the facilities here okay so i've just come out of the lift from the room i'm now back on the ground floor again and i thought we'd just take a little look around here look at this artwork everywhere look and i'll tell you what you want to see this over here look at this oh my goodness look at this this is a little bit freaky, folks. <laughs> Have you ever said anything like this before? Wow. This is a bit freaky. Restaurant over there. It's very cool. I wonder how much it costs. Over there. And it's not cheap. And all of the artwork does have 
credit. We got the credit for that. <coughs> credit for all the artworks. What's this one here? Look at that. Who did that? Look at that, man. Wow. Let's have a look outside of the pool area, shall we? I won't be using the pool, but we'll have a look, look while I'm in. Now then, look at this. Wow. What do you think of this, folks? Look at that. This is so funky, this hotel. Check it out, yeah, we're down here by the pool. And look at that there, the sun is going down over there. What an evening. What a hotel. Right, okay, it is now the big day. And uh, yeah, it was a, a decent night here at the Lorenzo Hotel in Dallas. Yeah, the bed was quite comfortable. I mean, look at the size of the bed. It's absolutely massive. I'm not used to sleeping in such a big bed, but it was a, it was a comfortable bed to sleep in. And it's certainly, this hotel, Honestly, I'm not sure if I'll stay anywhere quite like this again, mind you. <laughs> I've got a few more days to go on this trip yet, so we'll see about that. But it certainly is a very, very interesting hotel, and I paid a lot of money for it. But you know what? You only live once, don't you? And I'm actually quite glad that I did it, because just to see the hotel and to experience it, and there's a cracking atmosphere as well here, here too, and um, there are a few little things maybe uh, that I'll show you the shower. I just want to, I'll, I'll show you it a little bit, but uh, it's the day of the eclipse. And I'll tell you what I'll do now. I'm going to pick you up and we'll look out the window and we'll see what it's like. Um, it's a little bit iffy actually. So here we go. Right, let's turn you around. So this is my view from the window. We're actually looking the opposite way to Dallas, uh, this downtown area, unfortunately. We're looking towards the outskirts here, but oh, uh, I'm afraid the sun has just disappeared. You know, the sun, it was there. It was just over, I saw the sun rise over there. And unfortunately, it's now gone behind a cloud. Well, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? I'm just gonna put a picture on the screen now of my view when I got up this morning, about an hour ago, the, the skies were perfectly clear. Just an hour ago, I saw the sunrise, it was beautiful. But, you know, they did say, they did say that it might start off nice and then um, it, it uh, would possibly turn cloudy. So it's just, we're just gonna have to hope and hope for the best. I mean, if it turns out to be cloudy for the eclipse, then we will experience it go very dark for a few minutes and it's going to be really, really weird. It's going to be very, very strange. There might be quite, well, there certainly will be a lot of people that don't know, despite all the coverage, it's been all over the news, the radio, everything, it's been so well publicised, this eclipse, but it's going to catch some people out because not everybody watches TV, do they? And not everybody listens to the radio. Anyway, I just wanted to show you something. If I turn you around again, 
I just wanted to show you something about the bathroom which did my head in. <laughs> okay, so we're just in the bathroom now. I just wanted to show you the shower now. I don't know if you can tell, but this, they've got this glass here. Uh, that's fixed, you can't move that. There's no sliding door. There's a the shower head and there's where you turn it on. Now, doesn't it do your head in when you go to a hotel room and you never know how to work the shower? Now, you have to get in the shower and then you can't move that, or you can, but not very much. But when you turn this thing on here, it just blasts you with cold water. You know, normally what I do is I like to put my hand in the shower and turn it on and make it make sure it's it's warm or at least warmish before I step into it. And you just can't do it with this shower. It's uh, you just have to get in there and turn that dial there as slowly as you can. Try to get it going a bit and let it warm up a bit. Um, otherwise, you're just going to get blasted with cold water. That kind of did my head in a little bit. That, but. Yeah, every hotel room you stay at, they've got a different shower, you know, everything's different, isn't it? And because you because I'm not I'm only staying here for one night, I've got no chance to get used to anything. I'll just give you one last look at the room. I've been using the coffee machine there to make myself a a coffee this morning. Uh made a bit of a mess of the bed. It's actually not too bad really, is it? Um yeah, uh so what do you think? Let me know in the comments. What do you think to the hotel? It's very, very different, isn't it? I like that chair there. I haven't sat on that chair enough, actually. I've been editing on this desk here and I've been using this sort of office chair when really I probably should be relaxing on that one there, shouldn't I? Anyway, let's take one last look out the window. There you go. I've got a bit of a wider angle there. They're doing some work over there. Look, they've got a digger down there. I wonder what's going on. Hmm, looking a bit cloudy though, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to nip downstairs now and I'm going to get the breakfast. Uh, so we'll check that out, see how much it is and uh, we'll see what that's like, shall we? Okay, so I'm now down in the breakfast room. This is actually called Hamilton's restaurant here on the ground floor and uh, check it out. It's quite swanky in here, you know. Yeah, look at this. Okay, now you will notice that I have taken my hat off. I have quite a few people say to me, you should take your hat off when you're eating. Well, I'm in a bit of a swanky restaurant here, so I've taken my hat off for this one. And I'm afraid I missed showing you the menu. So if I get a chance, I'll put it on the screen now. I've just ordered an all-American breakfast. So uh, it looks pretty good on the menu. Uh, it's not gonna be cheap either. So uh, we'll see what it's like, but I've got a, I've got a cup of coffee. It's very hot here. Well, that was quick. Wow, that, that came very quick. This is the breakfast here. It's a bit hearty, isn't it? Look at that there. Got a couple of sausages, a couple of eggs. And uh, what are those? They're just roast potatoes or hash browns or whatever you want to call them. Got some tomato sauce in here. Uh, not a whole lot to it really, is there? But I do have some toast. I've got some toast here, look. A couple of slices of toast with some very fancy uh, butter. And I've got some jam as well. So uh, I think I'll tuck into the toast first. Look at that. Ooh. Isn't it fancy? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> very, very fancy, isn't it? I'm not used to this, you know. Really not. <laughs> yeah, there doesn't seem to be too much to this breakfast, really, does there? And I believe it cost $18. $18 for the breakfast, that's what I think it costs anyway. I've just got a top up for my coffee, so I've got a bit more coffee. Here we go. Oh. I hope I'm not embarrassing myself here with my eating habits. What do you think? <laughs> 
I have my ways. I think it's time to tuck into one of these sausages that were small the sausages are they're not very big are they? they look nice they look nice though but still they compare to back home oh. oh, I've got to use my right hand I'm afraid with the fork So, it just can't compare with back home, you see. And uh, they're pretty small as well, aren't they? I don't think that the USA makes sausages quite like we do, let's face it. We can't compete, can we? But it's nice to have something a, a bit more classy for a change. What do you think? I'm not really used to this, am I? The tomato sauce is nice, actually. Yeah, these uh, rolled potatoes are quite nice. You know, the funny thing is, is that uh, in America, we always seem to have different names for things, don't they? And sausages, they call sausages links. But here, the roasted potatoes, what do you think? Look pretty good, don't they? Get a bit of tomato sauce on them. Oh. So on the menu, it said for this breakfast, 18. It just said 18. And I believe that's $18. I'll probably have to pay extra for the coffee, I think. And then I have to pay a tip as well. So it's going to add up. Okay, so uh, this is the bill here. You know, it's not too bad actually. Twenty-two seventy-three. Twenty-two seventy-three. Can you see that there? 22.73. You know, I don't think that that is too bad, really. I mean, I didn't get a whole lot with it. And I did have to pay, well, I didn't have to, but I paid an extra $5 in cash for the tip. So I paid the bill on a card, and I actually put a $5 note on the tray for the tip. So it, it, I actually paid £27.73. Not too bad. And that other place, just outside by the way, Taco Enzo, that's another place where you can get breakfast over there as well. Yeah, in one of those containers that I showed before, yeah. There you go. Yeah, anyway. Uh, I'm just going to head out of here now. I've got a bar over there, I wonder how much it costs for a drink, but it's not cheap. But yeah, it is a fancy, isn't it? See you later. Thank you. Oh, there you go. And we're now into the, the Hall of Mirrors and eyes. Back to the room. There you go. That was the Lorenzo Hotel 
um, what is it, Art, Art by Hilton or something? I don't, I don't know, it's a, it's a Hilton hotel anyway, but just look at it, isn't it amazing? I mean, it's completely bonkers, isn't it? I mean, everywhere you look, there's artwork, isn't there? And uh, yeah, not cheap as well. I mean, it's all adding up now, 350 dollars for a night 20 for overnight parking plus another 10 because i'm staying in the parking lot for the day so that's 380 and then i had the breakfast which i had to pay 27 pounds for including the tip so we're over 400 dollars for this day i hope i can make it back on this video so don't forget to share tell all your friends to watch it because i need to try and make this money back anyways let's have a little look out the window here's a look at oh did i show you that picture this morning where we saw the sunrise over here well now look at it oh it's looking a bit cloudy let's just turn the camera around and show you i can see a big ferris wheel over there anyway that was where the sun rose this morning and it was a beautiful start to the day but now look at it for the eclipse it's about oh three and a half hours to go from now and now look at it complete cloud cover Right, I'm going to finish this in my big posh chair. Yeah, it's a tapestry collection by Hilton, the Lorenzo Hotel here in Dallas. Check it out. It's the funkiest hotel I have ever stayed in. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be staying in a different hotel every night of this trip, I think. And I'll try and do a video in every single one if I can. But I'll tell you what, this one is going to take some beating. Anyway, um, I've done this video in my own way. Um, I'm not a hotel reviewer as such. I, this is not what I normally do, but whenever I get a chance to do it, I do do it. When I went to the East Coast, I did a video at Scarborough Hotel, the Grand. I also did one at the Weatherspoons Hotel in Whitby. And those videos did so well that I thought, you know what, I'd be daft if I didn't do some more hotel reviews, especially here in America. Anyway, I hope you like the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one. Right, I need to get ready for this eclipse. Whoa, move away clouds. Oh my oh, God, God, this looks amazing. Oh, oh, oh my God, the diamond ring looks oh. absolutely fantastic.